cold this morning, y'all. I think it was uh, 37 whenever I started. It's pretty out today, but it's cold and wet. Okay, I don't know if y'all have seen one of these or not. Here's the case, case for it. But this is it. The battery on the X mark has been taking a long time to start. I need to replace it. And on cold mornings, it, it's really hard to start. So uh, I'm gonna show y'all how quick and easy this thing is. Okay, so let me show y'all real quick. And before y'all ask, yes, I have started vehicles with it. Like my truck, I've jumped my truck off with this before. So it is plenty powerful enough for that. So you just put it on the battery post and then there's a button right here. You just push it and it'll blink green. And then whenever it's solid, Okay, y'all always know I have a talking point. I, I don't just do the vlog. I always have a question for you guys, comments, uh, uh, stories to tell or something like that. So here it goes for tonight. Uh, what are we doing next year? Um, I've already told all my customers that I will be going up in price next year. Um, I don't know what you guys are paying right now, but non-ethanol gas in this area the last time i filled up which was not before last uh was three dollars and 59 cents a gallon for non-ethanol uh st gas for the truck is running 307 309 uh east Tennessee's always below the national average uh for, and for what gas prices are but that three dollar and 59 cent non-ethanol price is freaking ridiculous uh considering how much gas we go through in our mowers so the price is definitely going up now the next question that um, my customers are asking is how much you going up I can't give you an answer uh, I'll give you an answer come February late February early March because who I've never seen in 46 years I've never seen the world as crazy as it is right now and I'm not talking politics you know y'all know I won't get into po political stuff uh, because I want to keep it a lawn care channel and I don't want to get a bunch of hate comments but it's just crazy so gas could be well what are we going to do let's say if we hit six dollar a gallon gas uh, around here and you California guys I know you're already there are we even going to be able to stay in business here in the southeastern part of the country? 
because if we compensate our mowing prices for six dollar a gallon gas our customers aren't going to be able to afford for us to mow their yard four times a month because we'd have to go up to let's say a hundred dollars a yard for for a fifty dollar yard if it's 359 right now and it doubles then you double the price of the yard then you're looking at a fifty dollar yards now a hundred dollars that's four hundred dollars a month whenever a large portion if not the majority of my clients are retirees and you know retirees are already on a fixed income or living off their retirement there some of them outlive their retirement so are we going to be put out of business? The, what are we going to do? What are you guys thinking? How are y'all planning for this? I'm I'm thinking 15% if it stays the way it is right now. And I can about guarantee it's not going to stay where, where it is right now. Now, I pray I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But, I mean, that's just the way things are going. Now, let me tell you another ditty I heard last night. Yeah, I said ditty. Um, still... Let me get get this right. I'm trying to drive it um, while I'm filming this and trying to keep my my thoughts right. But I think I heard steel is going up 40 percent. So you can't make trucks without steel. You can't make mowers without steel. So you know they're going up. And I discussed it with Carter last night, and I said that you know, and I, I'm getting to that point. Another point on that. We're going to have a price increase which we already do i've talked hey ronnie if you're watching this um he was telling me uh, uh x marks have went up 30 percent i told him everybody keeps uh messaging me wanting to know why i'm selling my turf tiger well guess what i'm not selling my turf tiger anymore and i'm kind of giving away the secret but uh i may have purchased something today <laughs> so um because skags have already went up i think ronnie i think told me if i'm wrong on this uh i'm sorry but i think he said 30 percent. i think skags went up 15 percent. so uh, and then come spring i'm hearing i'm not going to say from who but i'm hearing that there's going to be another price increase on mowers come spring so and not only that the repair costs have went up. I've talked to the guys in the lawnmower shop, y'all know why I call it the lawnmower shop now. And the something that costs, let's say, a thousand dollars to repair last summer, this summer is costing like eighteen hundred dollars for the repair if they can get the part. I'll tell you another one. I ordered a an Extreme Pro Skag walk behind blower six weeks ago six weeks ago i ordered this thing still haven't gotten it got a phone call yesterday don't know when it's coming it, it could be after the first of the year it could be february or march do you still want it i said yes because might as well even if i don't get it for this leaf season i'll need it for next leaf season so if it comes in i'll, I'll take it i don't care if it's march and there ain't a leaf on the ground come october november next year i'll need it so now we got steel going up we got gas going up i can name a laundry list of things that's going to affect the lawn care industry and for some reason everybody's still on this gie hangover as I, i'll call it where they're hopped up uh, over all this stuff and the battery powered and this that and other nobody's talking about how much is a battery powered uh, V-Rod? How much is a battery powered steel? E the Echo X came out with what 56 volt. How much is it? Uh, is this stuff going to cost uh, over gas powered equipment? Because I promise a V-Rod battery powered is going to cost significantly more than a gas powered V-Rod. And what kind of time are you going to get over it? But anyway, back to GIE Hangover. Everybody's still talking about that, which is great. Uh, I loved looking at the Instagram pictures and everything, all the new stuff that came out of the GIE. I'm excited about it. But I'm, I'm more concerned than I am excited about what in the hell are we going to do? Because these prices are getting outrageous. Uh, 
I'll go ahead and tell you, I saw a Kawasaki engine on a Turf Tiger is gonna be pushing 19 grand for MSRP. Uh, the Briggs and Stratton 40 horsepower is around 16 grand. Uh, that's just ones I've looked at. I can't tell you the Tiger Cats. I, I can't even tell you the X Marks. I will tell you this. Well, um, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you know I did aerations a couple weeks ago. So I looked into getting an X Mark air stand on aerator, which was nineteen thousand one hundred and some dollars on X Mark's website. Uh, can't get one till March, and. The price now is $13,000 for a stand-on aerator, and that, that's probably the 24, not the not the 30 inch. Um, I'm not sure, because whenever I found out I couldn't get it till March, I was like, well, it's not gonna do me any good then, because I do my aerations in the fall. But this is what's concerning me. How, how much can we go up on our customers and still keep our customers? Now, I know we're gonna lose some, and you're gonna have these scabs as uh, somebody affectionately called them in one of the comments on my channel. Um, because I, all of us started out as that guy with a mower behind a truck. And we also no, didn't pay taxes, didn't have insurance, all that stuff. Um, all of us, I would say 80, 90% of us, that's how we started before we became legit with paying taxes and insurance and the way you're supposed to do things. But, and I hate to say this because I was one of those people, but now those people are really ticking me off because we're trying to be legit and these guys are coming behind us and undercutting the prices on it. Uh, and now, gas and steel and all these other factors are going to be driving up our prices so how are we going to keep the customers that we have like i was saying i'm sure we're going to lose some because they just simply can't afford to keep our service and there will always be that guy with the lowe's mower that will come behind you and do it for 10 15 20 dollars cheaper than what you're quoting them and that'll be who picks them up so what are, I want to know y'all's plan of action. I've I've semi got one, and there's a lot of incidences on the road tonight. I, I've semi got a plan, but luckily um, I just talked to another customer um, whenever I finished up just now. I'm booked through November, and I'm pretty almost booked up till Christmas. Um, so that's a good thing. But whenever I'm not busy, I'll come up with a more concrete plan. But I want to know y'all's plan. How are we going to combat? Sorry about that. How are we going to combat this inflation that we're dealing with? Because it's real, y'all. Um, and a, another thing, I forgot about this. Increased price of labor. Remember whenever you could hire a guy to run a weed eater uh, all week for 12 bucks an hour? That's a thing of the past. I mean, shoot, whenever you got these fast food restaurants and other places that are paying $15 an hour, why are they gonna sweat their hind end off in 95 degree heat running a weed eater for you? Uh, it just, I don't see it. So now the $12 an hour weed eater guy is now a 15, 18, in some cases, $20 an hour guy. So I, I'm not freaking out but I'm deeply concerned about the turn that this is taking and how we are going to deal with these price increases and everything. Because just like McDonald's, it's costing more for them. There's no dollar value mill anymore. Everything's going up. Well, $40 yards gone, or $50 yards gone, or 50 the new 60, 60 the new 80. I mean, it's just real concerning to me and I can't wait to hear y'all's comments. I'm not being negative, I'm being realistic because this is my livelihood now. I, I don't do something, I do this on the side. This is me, just me on that, providing for my family. And I'm looking at this going, holy crap. Uh, so 
what what what's going to happen come March? What's going to happen come February? And it's not looking good, I don't think. But I'm really looking forward to you guys commenting. Um, and again, y'all know I try and get to the comments as quickly as I can. The smart aleck ones, I, I don't even respond to. So you can go ahead and make a smart aleck comment, but I seriously doubt I'll respond to it. But the rest of y'all, leave me comments. Let me know, give me some ideas because I, like I, I talked about in the last video, it's learning things a two-way street. I, I'll need to learn from you guys and vice versa. Hopefully with that uh, halo thing I showed y'all this morning, that's a, a new little thing you can put in your toolbox that um, hadn't seen before or seen something like it that yet you may look into. But let me know your comments, uh, what y'all are doing, what y'all's plan of action are because I'd really love to hear them. And, um, I'll get another video out soon because I, I'm sure I'm gonna to wanna to share what I purchased today with you guys. So stay safe out there, guys. Keep hustling. Uh, if you're solo, guys, and you're watching my channel and it doesn't look like this whenever you're going home at night, you're doing something wrong or you need some more customers. So anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate every one of y'all. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, I'd really like it if you subscribe. Uh, send me those ideas, guys. I, I can't wait to hear them. Y'all have a good evening, and I'll talk to you again soon.